so many horror movies to be excited about right now. It is unreal. Like a kid in a candy store, ours is more like... These movies aren't getting hyped up enough, and I would love to sing some praise in their honor, so let's hold hands, let's praise them, together! Hello, my fellow movie geeks, Carrie Crabe Cinema here. I have always been a fan of the underdog, and I feel like these particular films are the underdog horror films, not getting much buzz. So let me create some. Let's start off with... An Amazon Original, My Best Friend's Exorcism. I stumbled upon this trailer by accident, actually, but it was a happy accident. From the trailer, I gather that these friends go into an old house that once held a seance of the dark nature. The one friend named Gretchen gets grabbed by the dark force while the others leave her behind. When they find her, she is already possessed. The main girl tries to find ways to exorcise the demon out of her best friend. The makers of Happy Death Day and Freaky are associated with this film, so I definitely have high hopes that I will enjoy this one. I think you all will too. The next one is directed by Olivia Wilde. She is mostly known to be an actress, but I think she is uh, dipping her toes into the directing waters. And this looks to be like she is, you know, doing just fine. This one is called Don't Worry Darling. This one feels different. Not your typical horror film. It feels more psychological. She falls for this guy, and it seems so perfect until they go to this place that seems to be an elusive utopia. It seems as though he brought her there to quote-unquote protect her, but really it seems like he just wants to control her. It feels like it will be what I like to call a puzzle piece film, where it pieces together one by one, as the film progresses from start to finish. The actress who played in Midsommar plays in this. She was outstanding in that one. So I am very intrigued to see where this film takes me. Now, I am all about people smiling when they are truly happy, but it is far more sinister when they are smiling because they are up to no good. Next one is... Smile. This trailer unsettled me. Every time I looked at the screen, someone was smiling at me in a very creepy way. I wasn't about it. But it had the proper effect if it made me feel that way. So it looks as though there is a therapist who tries to help her patients and comes across one that just can't be saved. She is plagued by some kind of dark force. I'm gathering. She harms herself in front of her feeling as though she can't help anyone. Wanting to know more on why her patient did what she did, she falls into her own dark rabbit hole, causing her to discover what she didn't expect. I feel like it's going to be some kind of lore, some dark force that latches on to people, possessing them, enjoying their dark deeds that they are playing out, hence the smile. I'm not as psyched about this one, but I will definitely give it a shot, knowing that Kyle Gallner is going to be in it. For sure. 
Now this next one I am super stoked about. I have seen many exorcism films, but this one feels different. The main character seems to be dealing with her own demons, so she becomes ordained, maybe in a sense that she thinks it might protect her. She foresees a child who has been possessed, and it takes her back to when she was a child. Her mother warned her about the devil himself wanting to take her. She is reminded of this when she sees the possessed child. Warned again about the devil wanting to take her, she seems to be fighting the urge to surrender. From the looks of it, I think she just might give in. To see this side, to see her overcome by the devil, it could get pretty intense. And from the looks of it, it looks pretty intense. I will be seeing this one in theaters and also will be prepared to jump into the person that is sitting next to me's lap. So whoever you may be, I apologize in advance. So what would you do if you rented a place and when you approached the entrance, someone was already there? I myself would be like, I'm getting a hotel and we'll be calling to see what the hell happened here. I would definitely not do what this girl did. Barbarian stars Bill Skarsgård. Seeing his past performances, I have no doubt in my mind that he will be giving us a complex character. So to me, in the trailer, he is either behind it all, keeping people hostage in the basement, holding them until madness ensues, or he is forced by someone else to partake in their sick games. He could be a victim himself. This could go many ways. We see Justin Long in the basement appearing to be there for quite some time. Wonder what info he will give us. And if he is a victim too, or also a ruse. Oh, like I said, it could go so many ways. Can't wait to see what they do with this one. I am definitely excited. So those are just five movies that are coming out soon-ish, more soon than others. I hope you are as excited to see these as I am. I just wanted to shed more light on them in hopes that many more will talk about these movies. Because they look so good! Leave me a comment down below. Will you be watching any of these films, if not all of them? Let me know! This is Carrie Crave Cinema. Stay geeky for movies, my friends. Music